Tamilola and I'm a digital product designer. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create an information architecture on FigJam. Now, FigJam is this amazing tool that comes with Figma. And, you know, in my first exploration with this tool, I realized that I could easily use it to create an information architecture. And so I decided to share with the world. And so first of all, the question is what's information architecture and an information architecture is basically a diagram that is used to organize and label the sitemap of a website or software in order to support usability and findability. And so you might as well just think of it as, uh, you know, the big picture that is concerned with our applications or websites display and organize data to their users. And as you can see, for this example, information architecture is used to determine what data will be held on a given page and how each page relates to other pages. So basically, an information architecture is a visual diagram to build your navigational menu, your sitemap and other navigational structure for your website or application. All right, so I'm just going to open a FigJam file and that's pretty straightforward. Once you open up your Figma file and you go to the home page, you will just see it here on the right hand side and you know, just by clicking on it and it takes you to, you know, the FigJam file. All right. So basically this is what the interface looks like. I'm not going to be showing you how to make use of, you know, every damn tool in this application. I'm just going to be showing you how to make use of it to create you know, an information architecture. And so before we start creating, you know, this diagram, uh, we first of all need a set of data. And uh, this could be, you know, a data that you have developed based on user research and some, you know, sorting technique in order to ensure that the data is grouped according to the user's mental model. So um, here's my data and uh, you're welcome to use it or create yours or you can just follow along so basically you can just drag this circle tool and as you can see with the handles you can you know resize it and click inside it in order to type some text and so we're just going to call it website information architecture all right that's good and so i'm just going to select it once again and you know right here you can change the color I'm just going to select this color and give it a stroke. And I think I'm good with this. You can customize it the way you like, but it's very, very simple. You just need to simply explore the options and customize it to your satisfaction. So basically I'm going to drag out another circle, but this time I'm going to make use of a rounded rectangle. Yeah. And I'm just going to resize it accordingly and simply copy the home text using Ctrl C and, you know, paste it inside the rounded rectangle shape, you know, pressing Ctrl V. Now immediately I select the circle and I move downwards right below the circle. You know, I get this plus sign, you know, showing that I can simply click on it to bring out the connector and simply click and drag it and move it towards this rounded rectangle you know it shows these indicators that i can connect it and that's just everything to it and so as you can see i have this uh circle the website information architecture connected to the home page and as i move the home page you know the connector is also moving along with it and i really think that's really really amazing and um, so what i'm going to do is just duplicate it and to do that i just simply press you know ctrl d and uh you know i'm just going to copy uh the academic program and paste it accordingly and i would make uh the following adjustment to it so subsequently i'm just going to you know hold alt and click and drag to duplicate this time around and for this page i'm going to be I'm going to be copying information from my data, you know, to the, into the rounded rectangle. And 
and i'm just going to do that to create the other pages and just organize things accordingly all right so you know once that's done i'm going to select the shape for the website information architecture and simply move downwards and click and drag the plus icon in order to extend the connector to the other rounded rectangle shape and immediately i get that indicator around the rectangle you know i i know it's already connected and so i'm just going to release it and so i'm gonna do the same thing for the other rectangles and that's pretty good right now i'm simply going to move the circle for the website information architecture once here like i said that it's pretty straight and aligned with the shape below it and i think this is pretty good so subsequently we're going to create the sub menus for the academic programs and to get started i'm just going to select this shape and duplicate it accordingly and remember you just simply hold alt and move the shape in order to duplicate it so you can you know press ctrl d or use ctrl c and ctrl v to you know duplicate it and then after i'm going to select the rounded rectangle for the academic program and simply click on the plus icon below it to extend its connector and join it to this rounded rectangle and subsequently i'm simply going to duplicate this one for the second sub menu and you know copy the information from my data into it and make the following adjustment and so once that's done i'm going to select the rectangle for the academic program once again and you know click on this plus icon and drag it and join it to this rounded rectangle all right and then after i'm going to duplicate the rounded rectangle for the secondary school program and just copy the data and paste it accordingly and so i'm going to select the rectangle for the academic program once again and you know just click and drag the plus icon to extend its connector and move towards the you know rectangle for the crutch slash daycare program and you know once i get that indicator that it is joined to it i would simply release it and so that's basically it it's simple um since you already get the idea right now i'm just gonna try to speed things up and create the remaining so you could just watch along and try it out it's super easy there's nothing for me to bore you you know doing the same thing that we've done over and over again as you can see the information architecture is ready and you know good to go i was really 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 amazed with how easy it was you know for me to make use of this tool to create this information architecture normally i would use some other kind of tools which were way more difficult to use compared to what figma has done i would glad to see how you know figma could solve some other problems like you know data visualization which is one of those things that ui ux designers have to deal with so thank you for your time if you find this information useful to you please like and subscribe to my channel i hope to see you in future videos so have a wonderful day and bye